Boys and girls of the first and second grades, welcome to another Sunday video homily, this for the third Sunday of Easter. This weekend at Mass, you'll hear a story about Jesus appearing to the apostles after his resurrection, when he rose from the dead. The apostles have gone back to Galilee, where they came from, and Peter and John and some of the others go fishing. They fish all night, but they catch nothing. In the morning, when they're about to return to land, a man on the shore calls out to them, and he tells them to catch their, ca uh, cast their nets over the right side of the boat. They do, and immediately they catch so many fish that they can't pull the nets back into the boat. The Apostle John recognizes the man and says to Peter, it's the Lord. Jesus has already appeared to them twice after the resurrection, but now Peter can't even wait for the boat to get to land, so he jumps in and swims to shore. But there's a problem. On the beach, Jesus has made a fire, but not just any fire. John, who's writing these words and was an eyewitness, tells us that it's a charcoal fire. The reason that this is important is that there's only one other place in all the Bible where that term is used. On Holy Thursday, when Jesus was arrested, Peter was warming himself by a charcoal fire when he denied that he knew Jesus three times. Remember that during the Last Supper, Jesus said to Peter, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So in this story, when Peter sees the charcoal fire on the seashore, it must have brought him back in his memory to that terrible night just weeks before when he denied Jesus three times. Now, after they've eaten, Jesus asks Peter three questions, but Jesus does not call him Peter. That was the name Jesus gave him, and it meant the rock. Instead, Jesus calls him by his real name, Simon. Jesus says three times, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And each time Simon responds, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. It seems that Jesus is allowing Simon to make up for denying Jesus three times by answering three times that he does love him. And then Jesus makes a prophecy. That means that he tells the future. He tells the future about the way Simon Peter will die. And that's the end of the gospel, but it's not the end of the story. Because after the resurrection of Jesus, Simon Peter led the church as the first pope for more than 30 years. He eventually died the death of a martyr. A martyr is someone who's killed because of his belief in Jesus. Simon Peter died in the city of Rome, on the site where the great church of St. Peter's now stands. When Simon Peter was told that because of his belief in Jesus, he would be executed and that he would be crucified, just as Jesus was, he made one request. He asked to be crucified upside down. He said that because he had denied Jesus three times, he wasn't worthy to die in the same way as the Lord Jesus did. And you know, that shows us that he finally did learn to love Jesus with the love that Jesus had asked him for. Boys and girls, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Until next time.